Hello everybody and welcome to another Pwnage tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to get the new version of Frets on Fire working on your Mac uh, without getting the black screen of death. Okay, so yeah. Basically, uh, all you got to do is download an older version of Frets on Fire, then download a newer version and replace a little file. So, um, in my show notes, which is to the right of this video, I'll have links to the old and new version, okay? And it will be apparent whether one of them's old or new, right? Okay, so now you've downloaded them. You put the old version on your desktop, and you can put the new version in your applications folder or, you know, wherever, okay? So now, all you have to do to get the new version to work is right-click, show package contents, click on the contents folder, click on resources, then click on, shoot, lib, then click on python 2.4, then click on lib download, I guess, and there you go. Now, let's just close all these other windows. Now, you've got to remember which, if, if you're on the new version or the old version. So, this is the older version, which I have open right now, and, I mean, this is the new version over there. So, now with the old version, right-click, show package contents, and do the same thing. Okay, now all you have to do is from the old version, you drag that file onto the new version, and then click on replace. Okay, so once you've done that, the new version of Frets on Fire should work uh, on your computer. Just double-click it, and it'll boot up. So... Now I'm going to teach you how to get songs onto your Frets on Fire. I'm pretty sure this isn't legal if... I'm pretty sure this is legal if you already own the song. So, make sure you own the song before you download it. Wink, wink, wink. I don't know why I just winked. Whatever. Make sure you own the song before you download it. Okay, so... This is the website you go to. I'll have another link in the show notes. Uh, well, it's right there, but I'll have a link. And then you can just go to the songs. Uh, I, I like Daft Punk, so I downloaded one of their songs from here. And now all you do is it's a little zip folder. Uh, extract it, and then it the song is in a folder. Because there's a lot of components which go into uh, a song. So, one, what you do now is you right-click on the Frets on Fire application, go Show Package Contents. Mind you, this is the new one. You can delete the old one now. There is no need for it. You just need to replace those files. Then you go Contents, Resources, Data, and then there should be a Songs folder. And what I suggest doing is making a little alias for it uh, so that you can have it on your desktop. But if you don't want to do that, all you have to do is take the new song that you just downloaded, one second, and drag it into the Songs folder, and then you just click except I already have that song in the folder. But yeah, uh, Frets on Fire for the Mac. I'll have links to everything in the show notes. Anyway, uh, this is the... No, never mind. This is a good way to get it working, the new version. Anyway, yeah, um, you can check out my blog, you know. I'm just saying, you don't have to, but you could. Uh, at ponagetutorials.blogspot.com I'll also have a link to that in the show notes. I'm just a linky kind of guy. Anyway, uh... Yeah. Bye.